you insist on Walker's crisps? In 1986, an influential U.S. business magazine asked its readers to pick their favorite U.S. airline from a list of ten. Delta, Pan American, Eastern, TWA, American... There were no major surprises airline. except one. And the runner-up is... Piedmont. Piedmont? 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 Piedmont. You see, Piedmont came second without even being included on the survey. Piedmont, now Transatlantic Daily. Don't get uh, complex. Get Amplex. Fresh breath capsules for Amplex total freshness. Welcome to Bonnie, Scotland, land of scientific geniuses like Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone, and John Logie Baird, inventor of what you're watching me on now. And I say technological genius because it is here in this typical Scottish glen that the dynamic, compact computer corporation are building this factory to satisfy your insatiable appetite for their high-performance personal computers. Yes, here in Scotland, home of the brave, land of the free. Timothée Shampoo. So mild, you can wash your hair as often as you wish. Containing natural herb extracts, Timothée always leaves your hair soft and shining with the fresh smell of summer meadows. Timothée. So mild, you can wash your hair as often as you wish. gives you not just one oven, but two. And if you want an oven to be as hot at the bottom as it is at the top. Can you change the music? Better. And if you want a full width grill. Better. And energy saving rings. You haven't spoken to her yet. Graham says you might be a bit late, friend. And automatic timers. And you want a hog that heats at the speed of light. But gives you an incredibly low simmer. And you also want a cooker that's stylish and sleek and easy to clean. If you want all this, then you've got one thing to remember. Cook electric. Energy for life. Imaginary Friends continues at the same time, 9 o'clock, tomorrow evening. me if I'd like to work in Paris. Why, I jumped at the chance. I didn't realize they meant Paris, Texas. Just look at the place. Thank heavens for Monterey, a 
delightfully bittersweet blend of white wine, brandy, and a subtle tang of orange. My only other pleasure is reading the weather reports. Monterey, for those bittersweet moments. There's a light up, bright up world today. So enjoy your chocolates, the light away. Multi-sauce, honeycomb center, crispy and light. Real milk chocolate in every bite. There's a light up, bright up world today. So enjoy your chocolates, the light away. Multi-sauce. Pebble dash and privet. Well, if I can just have the details. Mm -hmm. Reception area, yeah. Uh -huh. 1.8 million square feet. Well, I think we'll call that spacious, shall we? Heathrow is up for sale. Close to M4, handy for two. Along with the other six airports owned by BAA. Parking for 12,600 cars. Because yeah. BAA shares... And 169 aircraft. <laughs> ...will be available soon. Very Market. Perhaps we should consider country life for this one. BAA. For a prospectus, call 01 200 1000. All children suffer from little aches, pains and feverishness. Junior Disprov Paracetamol can help. For children up to 12, it's in soluble tablet form, taken in water or a favourite drink. For babies from three months, there's pleasant tasting Junior Disprov suspension. Easy to pour and sugar free. For children's aches, pains and feverishness, Junior Disprol Paracetamol, sugar-free suspension and soluble tablets. This is Thames from London. In 25 minutes' time, the local news, but now the world news from ITN at 10. Aerospace gets a billion pound order for its 146. The doctors whose children in care policies are under review. The largest civil service union is to ballot on an all-out strike. In South Korea, the biggest student demo yet passes off peacefully. And an easy win for Becker in Wimbledon's first match. Good evening. The British aircraft industry has received its biggest ever boost with a 1,000 million pound deal. The Australian-based TNT Freight Group wants to buy 72 British Aerospace 146 jets over the next five years. The agreement is for the freight-carrying version of the Super Quiet Jet. TNT will use the planes to expand their overnight delivery service in Britain and in Europe. TNT's interest in the freight version of the 146 has breathed new life into an aircraft which once looked like a commercial flop. Initial teething troubles meant the aircraft was unreliable. Sales haven't been good. BAE sold only four during the first year in 81. Since then, orders have been up and down. Up to last year, a total of 94 had been sold. Today's agreement could lead to an extra 72 sales over the next five years, bringing it much closer to the break-even point of 250 planes. We had a slow start, um, but this is the kind of breakthrough we've been looking for to give us the volume and give other potential customers the confidence that comes from a big organisation like TNT. The orders will secure 7,500 jobs in Prestwick, Manchester, Filton, Hatfield and other BAE plants. The workforce was evidently delighted. Marvellous for the firm. Uh, for everybody concerned, especially us. <laughs> well, I think it's uh, very good news for Hatfield and very good news for British Aerospace. British Aerospace is increasing its output of the 146 from 28 to 40 a year but it doesn't plan to take on any more workers. Instead, the company wants to improve productivity to compete with its giant American rivals like Boeing. Until today, the vast majority of its sales of the 146 were to the United States. US Airlines have bought 68, the People's Republic of China 10, the UK 8, and other countries 5. That's still a long way from big profits. You don't really expect to make much more or much money at all until you've sold three to 350 aeroplanes. At that point, you begin to start to recover your costs. The Viscount was Britain's most successful ever civil airliner. 
Since it was launched nearly 40 years ago, more than 440 have been built. Some are still flying. The verdict? A commercial success. The BAC 111 was a different story. Even though 236 were built, the verdict was it only just broke even. And as for the Trident, that fell foul of rising fuel costs. Only 117 were built. The verdict? Too noisy. It was a commercial flop. The 146 is fuel efficient, so quiet it beats airport noise restrictions, and it's the best all British hope of remaining a significant force in the civil aircraft market. Mark Webster, News at 10, British Aerospace. TNT first became well known here in Britain during Rupert Murdoch's long running news international dispute at Wapping. Its lorries were used to run the gauntlet of pickets and deliver newspapers to 23 distribution points up and down the country during the small hours. Rupert Murdoch's personal stake in the company is less than 10%. The company was started in Australia in 1946 with just one truck. It now operates in 80 countries, employing 60,000 people to run a worldwide fleet of 19,000 trucks and 68 ships. TNT's European turnover has been growing by up to 50% a year since it opened in Britain in 1972.